Um, hello, I'm Ruined Oblivion, and today I'm going to be showing you how to host, uh, set your IP configuration and stuff so that you can host a Warcraft 3 uh, a game, like online, a custom game. So first thing you need to do, damn it, go to run, and then you're going to type in CMD, and hit enter, and then you're going to type in IP config like just IP no space just IP config C O N F I G if you don't know hit enter and you should get this information it's a connection specific DNS suffix that doesn't really matter you want the IP address subnet mask and default gateway leave that open um, you go to Internet Explorer and in the search bar you want to type in your default gateway which for most people, well pretty much everybody, it's going to be 192.168.11 see um, and then it's going to have this to connect thing um, most people's passwords is some variation of admin or password either admin being the name or password being the name and password being the name and admin or the name or the password I meant um, sometimes there's no password, but I know mine is just admin. It, okay, you can't remember me if you want, but most people don't. Um, this is this is also I have a Linksys router. Most routers are the same. Like uh, for Linksys, you just would want to go to applications in gaming. Uh, other routers, you might want to just like look for an advanced setting or something. But for with Linksys, you would go to applications in gaming. Um, you have Warcraft three. Well, this is this thing comes up. the uh, The important thing here is to make sure that um, the IP address matches up. The application name can be whatever you want. You just need to make a new one. You can have it. See, I have WC3. Um, the start port range needs to be six one one two to six one one two, like that. Um, you want the protocol to be both. Um, and then make sure that's enabled and then you would just hit save changes and pretty much the second step to this <clears throat> go to your control panel I don't know which way you would have your set here the classic view or this is the category view um, you would just go to internet and network connections and then go to network connection or if you have it the other way, you can make it. If you have it set as classic view and you don't know what I'm talking about, you can just click. You can just click network connections. That works too. So then you want to go to where it says your your which one is your internet, like not internet gateway, but the actual internet. Like if I disabled this right now, the internet gateway would disappear because there would be no internet. So you're gonna right click on it and go to properties, and then you're gonna look for intercall or internet protocol TCP IP. And you want to go to properties of that. Um, mine wasn't set, but uh, you don't really need to worry about this part. I always thought you did, but you don't for most times. Um, so, well, sometimes you might. We'll fill it out just for the hell of it. Uh, whoops! I closed the command log. So we're gonna go back and open up our command log. Run cmd ip config. <laughs> And then we're just going to take the IP address, subnet mask, default gateway, and plug all of them in the way they're supposed to be. Whoops. Crap. Well, you get the you get the basic idea. Six eight one one. Okay, the, the preferred DNS server. I always get this one backwards. So if I if it's it might be wrong if you don't host the first time. Um, 192. Uh, the preferred one, I'm pretty sure, is going to be uh, your default gateway, which is 192. Well, my default gateway is this. And the alternate DNS server is, you always want to have it set to 4222. Um, now, if you try, if you do have it set up this way and you try hosting and it doesn't work, um, a couple things, just try first thing you should try is switching the preferred DNS and alternate DNS also make sure you don't have any firewalls on that usually my AVG security firewall is off and 
my uh, Windows security alerts is off. And if you don't know how to turn off your firewall, I'll show you how to do that in a minute. But most of the time, when there's something wrong with it, it's just make sure that your IP address is right. And on your in your internet configuration for your internet um, thing, that damn it, I can't move that. Where the where you go into Internet Explorer and put in your default gateway make sure that that's the proper IP too like you may have noticed earlier that my Gary's mod and uh, whatever else was there had the wrong IP but that's because I haven't hosted them in a while <clears throat> so yeah to turn off oh by the way you would just hit OK um, you when all this is filled out you would just hit OK and then hit OK and then it would probably lag for a second your internet would disconnect and then you'd come back up and you'd be fine to turn off your uh, firewalls we're gonna go to control panel once again if you're on the regular view the old one it's window firewall and then just make sure it's turned off that's what I do you don't really need a firewall on I mean nobody's trying to hack you you're not that important sorry it's the truth be used to it uh, if you're the category view you would go to security center and then you would click this should usually be on you would just go down to the bottom and go to Windows Firewall and then make sure it's off. Like Truthfully, I never have a firewall on. I never get any viruses. I never have a problem. My AVG virus protection is on, but the internet isn't. The internet protection isn't, so... If you want to hack me, go ahead. It'll happen. You'll die. I'll get a new computer. I don't care. Um, and that is it. Some things to remember. Uh, I, there is a way for people who have wireless internet to host but I really don't know how and it's really hard I know my cousin can do it but he has a really expensive router and he always has all his ports open um, I don't know how to do that but usually if you have if you're wireless you're shit out of luck you can't really host um, and yeah that should be it you just go and Warcraft 3 and host the game and you should be fine uh, hope I help someone <laughs>